as I'm going to make some cheese scones today and have my scales for weighing and I've got self raisin flour margarine and my grated cheese I've grated um, three ounces or 85 grams and I'm going to weigh out the and the cheese that you need to use for this is I've used British mature cheese because you need it a stronger cheese for to bring the taste out um, when you've mixed all when all the mixtures made and cooked. And I'm going to use 200 grams of flour, self raising flour. a little bit more than I need so that's the flower weed out and adding that to the bowl I always use a large bowl because there's less chance of the um, the mixture going over the top Now I need uh, two ounces or oh, fifty six two ounces of fifty six grams of margarine. That's a couple of grams extra, but that's not going to hurt. And I'm also going to add a small spoonful of baking powder to the flour, because that helps to, to make the scones rise a bit more. And I'm also going to add a pinch of salt. I don't like a lot of salt, so a pinch is enough. I'll mix that, the flour and the baking powder around a bit. And I like to cut the, the margarine up into small pieces before I start rubbing it in. It makes it easier, quicker. Then you need to, to rub this in to a fine crumb.
and give it a good shake and it'll bring any lumps that you've missed up to the surface. Margarine's nicely rubbed in. And then to that, I'm going to add three ounces of cheese or 85 grams, whichever way you want to do it. I still, because of my age, I still work in ounces, but I'm doing this in grams for the younger people that you don't know how to work with ounces but that's the way I was brought up because of my age it's it's what I was taught and then you just mix that in till it's well well mixed up that but um, I'll get some of this sticky stuff off my hand now to this mixture I'm going to add milk I'll just keep adding the milk until I've got the the dough to the consistency I wanted at and that's that's all you need to do it's And just keep adding the milk until, until you've got the dough the way you want it. You don't want it too soft, but you also don't want it very dry. to be coming round about right. So I'll work the rest with my hands now and get it to a have a little cup here that I use for the um, the flour to, to shake it over the surface roll the, the dough around in the flour to get the stickiness off Let's 
bits of flour over the rolling pin. And then you'll need to roll this out to about an inch. You don't want it too thin or you, you not have very good scones. I think that's about it. I'll have to get my cutter out the, the cupboard, which I forgot to get it out at the start. And I'm going to pick um, I think that's about the right size. And so I'm going to cut how many I can get out of this. five out of that and I'll have to roll up this pastry again and see how many I get out of this. I'll make it elongated so I can get it too well to that one. get the small one out of this one. Not quite the same as the rest, but that's the last piece of the piece of the door. small small tray here which I'm just going to shake some some flour on them on the tree. Uh, so that's eight scones, eight scones I've got out of that, that door. I get my pastry brush now and give them a little drop of milk. I'll just use a little small glass to put the milk in.
And now to put them in the oven. They should take about 15 minutes. It depends on the oven, really. The whole oven's been heated to. I've got it on 220. I'm going to put them in on the, the top. Nearest the top, but not, not too high. And we'll check again in 15 minutes. That's almost 15 minutes, so I'm going to check. nice. I'll let them cool down. A little bit warm with some butter on while they're still warm, that's lovely. Now I've cut one open, nice and soft inside. It's very quick. They're very cheap, a lot cheaper than buying them in the shops and they're very easy to make. 